we're keeping this here. Hell it has yeah. Has nothing to do with has anything nothing we're to talking do with about. It. Just... You're just happy to have it. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh Five here on the Megalopolis app. The second edition, which the is the second edition. The second edition is already a special edition. It is because <laughs> well, it just our happened timing's to, impeccable. Yeah, as it usual. just happened to fall in at the same time with Toy Fair, Toy which Fair is always a huge time of year. And we're actually freshly returned from New York City, um, so freshly, freshly. <laughs> How could we not talk about a top five that is Toy Fair centric? Right, right, right. Coming off the show, I mean. We were at the show. We talk about the show. We're on a plane from the show. We talk about the show. We get back the drive to here. We're talking about the show, and then we're going to talk about the show. It's still fresh on our brains. It, when, when, this when, may not air directly after Toy Fair, right? But, but but for us, it gives us a chance to catch up too, because you know you're there and you're seeing everything in person and you're talking to people and everything is there firsthand. But you get done for the day and you go look online and all of a sudden people who aren't at the show are more caught up on what's been shown at the show than you are <laughs> even if you've like, seen everything. You just don't have the time to compartmentalize and remember the things that you saw yeah. um, throughout the day. So this is a good way to, I think, give some proper reflection on what we saw at the show. Since we are calling it kind of a special edition because it is a, a show-centric, um, we have a top five and, and it's toy-based. You know, yeah. what, what, what toys um, are, are we excited to see? But we did think have to give a plus one uh, shout out uh, that, that, that's not necessarily strictly toy related, but we're kind of calling it the most improved from from year to year. Mo this. Kind of most improved, or well, most surprising as a company overall. Exciting oh, as far as shift or change or however you want to call it. And and with that lead in, they mm -hmm. can kind of guess <laughs> probably. It's gotta be. But man, jazz wares. Where did you where'd you come from? Yeah. What is going on? There, there were hints last year at Toy Fair for some of the improved figure quality and articulation with things like but it was just Fortnite. But it, but it was one figure. It was a blip. Yeah, and and once to go we, from that to yeah, what they what they have going now in they've one been year. busy. Yeah, they've been busy. Well, <laughs> from the Rabbit Raider and getting approved and getting out there, we were told five months. Yeah, turnaround. But to go from one figure. Which was exciting because it was cool and everything. Mm -hmm. To several lines, AEW, UFC, couldn't show it, but it, it did look pretty good. Halo, and then Fortnite, how many figures they've put out in the past year and have more coming. It's well, just. Well, we knew the imprint for Fortnite, right? But it's, right. It's, it's not easy, but it's, it's predictable that maybe one line is staying that kind of peak collector level in terms mm -hmm. of sculpt and articulation but that logic has been applied widely to everything else that you got in that yeah, <laughs> yeah. opportunity i mean the configurations aren't necessarily the same but the aew has tons of articulation to it halo does too and apparently ufc does as well yep, yep. so ufc feels and looks very old school toy gotcha. biz which makes sense because yeah <laughs> they're very involved with old toy biz guys think of the ufc no 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 <laughs> think of the aew line and then apply that to a ufc based line but what's cool about it you look at the aew stuff and then the halo stuff and then the fortnite stuff it you if you didn't know any better it'd be hard for you to guess it was the same company making all the lines it's like hey we need to do this style Let's do that style. Well, Boom. well, and for me, and 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 I mean this honestly, okay. Even if it it doesn't, it may not come off sounding as as kind as it probably could. But the difference it's been in eighteen. If you would have at, if you would have told me eighteen months ago that hey, Jazzwares is the new la master license holder for a property that you really love, mm -hmm. I would probably be down and very distraught. Right. That's just me being honest, right? But because now they, because they weren't doing anything right, that we were in, right, you know, interested in. But but now if the, if someone came and told me, hey, you know, property X Y Z that you love, Jazzwares just got the master license, I would be like, I'm here okay. for this. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be exciting. This. Yeah, it's it's like the early days. I, well, I, I keep going back to Toy Biz. Yeah. It's, it's like the early days of that. And yeah. we all know where that went to. Uh -huh. We had to mention it. Yeah, so, as a company. So that's important. But we're here for a top five, so yeah. we're going to really break into that now. Number five for us in terms of what we uh, were most excited about seeing at the show. Controversial. Controversial, but Cobra! <laughs> we got to we have We're going to be Cobra. <laughs> we, we are going to be Cobra. We have to go GI Joe. Yep. Figure wise, it's not what I was expecting. Right. It's not what a lot of people were expecting. Yep. But we're I, in kind of a period of people needing to balance what is reality and what was expectation. 
And, right, and right, that's right. something that is always dealt with when a new line is announced or a new figure is revealed. You have a lot of time to think about what you believe this is going to be. Uh-huh. And then when it's not exactly that, there's a reconciliation period that you kind of have to go through. And we are right in the middle of that. Right, right, now. right, right. right. Yeah. I, I'm coming around. I still have my problems. Uh-huh. In fact, it's got me thinking of customizing and all that again for the first time in a while. Just the concept of G.I. Joe being back out there. Yep. Yeah. And where it's going to go, that's exciting. So I had to... It, it, it's Hasbro's own property. So right. they're, they have, I think, a little bit more freedom to do with it than, than some of their, you know, licensing partner properties, you know? And, and there's, they seem to be fighting for that freedom. Right. <laughs> I just walked into it. Lots of trouble. G.I. <laughs> Joe, beware. <laughs> it has a lot of potential behind it and right. and they made a point of saying you know every time gi joe has been reintroduced or or brought back in some form it's always been something different it has it's it's updated it may not be what was expected but it, it it's different i don't but i i don't believe seeing it come this way is meaning that it's that's going to be the end all be all i no, think no, that no. if it's popular it has the ability to branch out and expand and I, this is pure speculation right. but i just know what i've seen w- and with other hasbro brands before where it makes sense to kind of you know cater to other tastes as as well but you got to get something established first right, right. And this is what they're, a, they're doing and as we've said several times mm-hmm. over the past weekend hasbro have no problem going down that nostalgia trip right and with two years out from the 40th anniversary of gi joe you never know you never know and, and so you never I, know it, it could be something extremely complicated uh-huh. or there are already people, talented, you know, um, digital artists or whatnot, who are already taking pictures of some of these figures and doing palette swaps in terms of just color. Because yeah, just yeah, color, yeah. and it's kind of amazing that maybe if the colors aren't for you, even some 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 repaints in, in, right. in maybe more classic uh-huh. colors can can do a lot for for these it can. because they're they're there. Um, a lot of it's there, so. I, I, I don't know. We, we've got nothing now except for speculation and th- things yeah. being back in our own mind. But that's right? how any <laughs> line starts. Yeah. I mean, any line's going to start. Sure, they could have had a better showing. And sure, it, the pictures could have not leaked before, blowing some of the surprise. But, but leaks happen. And then yeah. they're, they're having to deal with a movie. In fact, I just saw this morning that they just wrapped production on the Snake oh, Eyes really? movie today. See, so there's a lot that they probably can't talk about simply mm-hmm. because they've got to fit that movie cycle, which, you know, if you're a Star Wars collector or Marvel collector, you're <laughs> right. used to dealing with that, right? So, right. so um, G.I. Joe is back, and it may be not. It may be not. It may not be what you are looking for, but this gives the potential to be something you're looking for later. Yeah, and, and I'm giving it a shot. I would be a yeah. liar. I, I, I can I can be someone who says, this isn't exactly what I was expecting, but I am still going to collect it, and I don't believe that I am a hypocrite for doing right. that. If you're just a fan of action figures in general and engineering, Snake I'm Eyes really do interested. look like a lot of fun. Oh, really? The but least, the engineering, you know? the articulation, and everything in these... It may be more exciting. Yeah, that's the I'm not saying go. go out and buy what you don't <laughs> like just to support it, but... I'm I'm there, so yeah, we'll we'll see where it goes, maybe. and I'm yeah. excited to see it. Number four, moving up to the list, goes from one of the largest mass market companies that we cover and are into to <laughs> one of the more um, you know s- smaller, agile, and and really uh, I, I think have their their fingers on the pulse of what um, collectors of a certain age um, are into, and that's Super 7. So number yeah. four on this list is their overall um, Ultimates reveals that you want to call, and, and mostly I think for us that involves seeing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Series 2 Ultimates, and then also the revealing of Thundercats Series 3. Another thing I've said several times over the past weekend, it's one thing seeing pictures, yep. it's one thing being excited about pictures, yep. or let down a little bit by pictures, yeah. but then seeing it in person, in plastic, in 3D, it's just, oh, there's something about it. Uh, 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 yeah, and I'll tell you, Brian Flynn is like Randy Falk of NECA and, and, and Dwight at Hasbro. Um, they're very much uh, in tune and, and wanting to talk with 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 
guys like us when we come to shows like this. And, you know, I had an appointment with him, and the first thing he wanted to do was open up the case and yeah. um, take out Bebop and, and Leonardo because he, he said himself, he's like, we got to do a little bit better job of getting, like, comparison pictures and things out there because not only was this the first time that I got to see these in person, but I actually got to hold Bebop. <laughs> I, if you check out our Instagram page or our Facebook page, you can see a video that, that I shot with Brian because I let him do all the moving and, and comparing because I wasn't going to be the one responsible <laughs> for anything happening to a Four Horsemen um, prototype, right? But the, the thing that was interesting is, is seeing what this line has the capability to do is is have that real variance of, of scale within a scale that makes sense because, guys, I can't tell... Bebop is one chunky monkey pig and damn it bebop's not almost every bit of eight inches tall <laughs> and that doesn't and that doesn't come across in no in the promo pictures no, it you doesn't. think because we've been burned before yeah so when you look at those pictures it's left up to your imagination not only are is he big but the relative scale like you said it's like you can see in that video when you hold up leonardo to bebop oh yeah yeah there's oh, a definite side. bebop is huge intimidating uh -huh. you almost feel sorry yeah for leonardo yeah but it also makes leonardo seem more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Exactly. Because you know? the turtle should be shorter. Smaller. Yeah. yeah. And if they're smaller, especially that much smaller than Bebop. Right. Boy. Right. On Rocksteady. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Exactly. But, you know, that we had seen pictures of those. They're up for sale now, so you need to get your pre-orders in. But debuting for the first time, I, I got over there, as, as we mentioned before, right as Cornboy of the Four Horsemen was delivering the prototypes to the case for Thundercat Series 3. <sighs> yeah. I mean, one thing, it instills a lot of of confidence in the long longevity of the line yeah. that they're determined to make all the characters or at least especially finishing off the yeah. core team so yeah, because Chitara is a big get yeah because if you've been with the the line essentially since the Mattel days right you now have what I, with the exception of Snarf, which you don't really know how he's going to be done. But if you're talking yeah. about the main oh, well, yeah. figure characters, Snarf, yeah, <laughs> you're done now, <laughs> yeah. right? Because you've got Lionel, Panthro, Tigra, Chitara, and the Mattel Thunder kittens. You know, right. the I, I think we'll probably see them show up again. But but getting that core team out, that's a huge deal to a lot yeah. of people because if you if you've been like us and through you know many iterations of Thundercats, you get a little gun shy when it comes to do I really want to collect this because I'm never going to get that whole core team. But with series three and Chitara coming. You've got it, and it's done and dusted, and it, it's fantastic. And she is in a, 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 a probably most demanded figure of the line thus far is getting done. But she's in a series with Captain Cracker. And man, dude, you could bring him up, I have no clue. It is so far <laughs> off uh -huh. uh, in, in left field, but the fact that they're in a series together, to me, is so exciting. Same way that Leonardo and Mutagen Man are in the same series, right? Mm -hmm. It's that, yes, we're going to take care of the core team that you want and that you need, and they're, they're essential, but we're also going to take this in some crazy directions so that you know, they're, I think they're aiming for these lines to be just as robust as, like, Masters of the Universe classics right, at some right. point, as long as people keep supporting it. And and they may not be perfectly 100% translations from the animation or anything. Right. But like you said with the He-Man stuff, they're kind of universe building with this style. Yeah. You can fit your Turtles with your Thundercats, with your... With your Toxie, with yeah. your He-Man. Conan and the Barbarian Conan, is going to be coming out. You put them out. all in yeah. the same display, and they'll fit in. It, they'll, it's they'll weird. Blend. These figures could not be any more different than the reaction yeah, figures exactly. that they do. But at the same time, all of a sudden, they're building two formats that are going to have this cohesion to go together so that they can all kind of play in the same sandbox, as you just said. So so that's cool. Chitara is, is amazing. Captain Cracker, how unexpected. Jaga is, is someone who is, is you know, very much needed, but he's been around for a while, yeah, you know, because yeah. um, he was back in the Mattel prototype days. But um, That was PowerCon, right? Yeah, yeah PowerCon yeah. a couple years ago, I guess, maybe. But, but for me, um, my favorite Thundercats character, um, which if I was going to be selfish with this top five list anyway... The fact that Slythe was in this reveal would be enough for me to get him on on this list. And anyway. looking amazing. Holy crap. I, yeah. I was lucky that I got to talk to Eric Treadaway of the Four Horsemen, too, very briefly at the show. Because he and I, that, that's something we have always shared since they first started working on Thundercats. Is that we shared the commonality in Slythe being our favorite figure. 
or character, but we were always kind of, I don't know if we'll ever be able to get to that because 100% unique. Yeah. Like Bebop, he's this chunk of an action figure, and man, um, I think he's the best Thundercats uh, figure that they've shown off thus far, so it's very exciting to me. I can understand frustration about delays and some of the quality things that these companies have to, to, to work through, but I'll tell you right now, Brian, like I said, like, like a Dwight or a Randy, um, he's one of those guys that heart is there 1000% of the way and always trying to do right by, by everything. And, and that's, you're going to really start to see the results of that. I think as we see these first few ultimates waves roll out. Okay. For number three, this was this was, this was the soul unex search. <laughs> the, the, but, but this one was, I think, the unexpected. If you would have told me that this would have made our list, our top five list, because we were kind of thinking about a top five mm -hmm. before you go into Toy Fair like you always do. If you would have told me that this was going to make the top five for us, I would have probably been, eh, I don't know about that. But number three, Hasbro Ghostbusters. Hasbro Ghostbusters. Number Trace. Ghostbusters team. Yeah. You did a great job with the presentation. It, that, you brought the big guns. Having the Reitmans come out and be as genuine as, as they were about uh -huh. everything, that was really the highlight of... I, it, was, it was the final nail in the coffin. I was already interested because, sure. like I said, I haven't bought the Mattel, I haven't bought the Diamond Select. So this Hasbro team will be my first... Ghostbusters that go in the display, but man, that was last. That was nail in the coffin. Well, it was like, oh, I'm in. And this isn't you just being, you know, okay. I've procrastinated over two right. lines. I'm finally gonna right. jump in. You're smart because even though I, I overall I like the Mattel line, I don't care for the diamond figures at all. I bought those for the bases, yeah. but you're getting the best of what's been. Yeah, yeah. This and it's not like I predicted the plasma it. series. Yeah, I didn't yeah. predict Hasbro getting the line or anything. Right. I, I just looked at the previous figures and thought. I'm going to hold off. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't have... Well, rooms always. Uh, <laughs> but I waited. So yeah. And it, it's going to pay off. And it paid off. Because the, the Plasma Series Ghostbusters, um, they look better than any modern Ghostbusters figures that, uh, that we've gotten. And um, them coming in on the first wave and just hitting the four main guys... And then, Zool and Gozer, and then build the Terror Dog. Yeah, um, you could almost call this one and done if you just wanted a core team on the shelf. Yeah, if, if that's what you're aiming for is a yeah. classic Ghostbuster team. Um, and, and sure, you can like Ghostbusters is like anything. You oh, can always say, "I still want this character." I yeah, still want yeah, that yeah, character. Yeah. But if for some reason, and I don't think this is going to be the case, I think we're going to still see more. If they never made their way back to doing more Plasma series movie one figures. It's a pretty satisfying group, right? That exactly. They just put out. Yeah, because you know, with the new movie coming, they're going to jump into that for a little bit. Then they'll sure. jump back Ghostbusters two. Yeah, maybe video game stuff. Maybe since Hasbro owns Kenner, an exciting thing that they oh, got man. me with yeah. is the vintage like reissue figures that are styled on essentially the same looking cards, and 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 that's going to get me, you know. But if, at the same time, I know where you're going. I would really love to see the Plasma series extend into real, real Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters because with that unique... was a toy line yeah. and there are so many crazy ghosts and things that they could do there um, and, and have some very, I mean, the real Ghostbusters was interesting because of all the different ghosts and the variance between, you know, the characters and how they looked and, and all of that. And, and we really have not gotten that. Right. Yet. Especially unique sculpts yeah. for the four, yeah. you know? Yeah. Hasbro overall is approaching this property in a very smart um, and exciting way because, you know, we also saw the, the toys that were more kid directed um, but they look like fun I mean it's Ghostbusters so slime is a big part of it right. but there's some of that old squish factor you know to it like it was when when, when we were kids the, the 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 proton packs and the figures and the little ghosts that they're packaged with which is another call back to kind of the, the the Kenner days those have interesting effects to them so it, it, they're, they're not just giving a generic oh Ghostbusters is going to be a movie so let's toss some stuff out there for kids to buy just yeah. because it says Ghostbusters on it I think they look like a lot of fun. <laughs> and then to go to the other end of the spectrum with that high, well, very nice looking Plasma Series wand. Yeah. Or a... It's, it's, it's Egon's... Neutrino. Neutr Neutrino wand. Yeah. yeah. Guns blazing. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Let's yeah. go for all the collectors. Yeah. And it'll be interesting to me to see what they offer... Um, for product line for the new movie, just because I don't know how yeah. the characters are are coming in um, to that. I mean, will there be plasma for the new movie? I, I don't know that yet. But Ghostbusters overall, I think, had a really, really great showing, drawing in 
fan keeping fans that have been fans for a long time and collectors of the stuff drawing in people who <coughs> may not have um had a, a ghostbusters collection going and and i think um there's so much potential across all the different executions that they're gonna do and so. if you're and, it, and if you like the old stuff hey more you've more, already got it on the show you've already got it yeah nothing wrong with another version being made but i'm gonna be in it for yeah. version three which <laughs> i'm always in for an upgrade and yeah. i consider yeah. these to be an upgrade so ghostbusters number three for number two, whoever is familiar with the whoosh knows that we got to shove some Marvel Legends in there at some point. It was a different showing for Marvel Legends this year. Lots of stuff to see. It felt a little different to me. Um, and maybe it's because of the movie cycle being a little bit different. Last year, there was a huge focus on the 80th oh, anniversary. Yeah. A lot of video game stuff going new. Which I have nothing to get. Like I said, it's almost that game reverse Captain America. Um, yeah. I may try to sneak that into G.I. Yeah. Joe if it, it fits. But yeah. either way. Some new engineering things that they're working yeah. on with the pinless knees. And and, and a and new body arms. for Spider-Man. A new body for Spider-Man, which I wish was pinless. <laughs> um, so but, so know, it's cool he, that Hasbro continues onward and upward. Yeah. And, it's and, not just, and first appearance Storm. I, uh, Gi- yeah. Giant size Storm. Yeah. That, that was a big one too. But but there was one little pocket of, of, of the Marvel Legends reveal reveals that was probably to me the most unexpected um but also one of the most interesting things and there's 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 a guy sitting here that might be a little bit excited about uh, <laughs> well the fox x-men but, thing was uh, a return to i don't know I, it, when it came out i was kind of on the fence about you know comic books uh-huh. marvel uh-huh. all that kind of stuff so I you're was, talking way back like first 2000 X-Men movie. Yeah, okay. yeah 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 okay. i was full-on hardcore star wars and back then i was like you have to collect one thing and that's it no 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 which i kind of wish i would <laughs> but <laughs> anyway those were the days. but then but then the first x-men movie came out and it was like hey hello marvel is cool yeah so 20 years later we well we got toys for toy biz and stuff sure but Man, coming in with the current articulation schemes, the current sculpting, the photo reel. Yeah. I'm excited about some Fox X Men. And Fox Men. <laughs> Foxy Men. Fox Men. <laughs> um, and, and, and as Dwight noted, um, you know, I think doing it at this time allows for a very small window before, of opportunity. Before the universe gets. Before, and... Yeah, and and the MCU gets their own takes um, on on these characters, but you know the 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 good part about this actually is is that it gives you an opportunity to really bring down and clean up a collect a, a massive cast list that did exist within the Fox universe. And really, like, stick with the, the, the really, really high points to give you a, a collection. And we may see more of them. I, yeah, exactly. I, I don't it's know. not like it rolls but, but they, out. Right, but they, they rolled out with what a lot of people would say, you know, these are definitely the highlights of the of the yeah. Fox tenure um, with, with X-Men. But you right. know what? We don't get one black leather costume, do we? Nope. They went with kind of street clothes, which... Yep. Which is kind of a smart way to ease into it, yeah. Because you can use this in any version, right? Or if you want civilians, yeah, you can change out the heads. Or I, I hadn't thought about that until this yeah. exact moment. Yeah, but, but a couple of Wolverines, a couple of Wolverines, which some Mystique, cool. uh-huh. uh huh. Both both versions of Professor X and Magneto, young yeah. and old, uh-huh. which is way to go. But those are cool and all, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But let's, I, let's, for as much as I just talked up the original X Men movies and stuff, man. I get my six-inch Deadpool. Yeah, and, and of oh, all of my. them, he seems like he has the most opportunity to survive the yeah. No so more Fox mutants. Maybe this uh, is some beginning, so. or yeah. so, the beginning of more Deadpool movie top lines. Yeah. I mean, it, and it totally blows out of the water the whole you can't make action figures of an R-rated movie. Yep. So, Later, <laughs> because there were what four Deadpool movie figures that they yeah yeah they and and showed? in our. Day wrap up. We may have been a little bit tired. Yeah, cable is a Walmart exclusive, yeah. but I guess not a two pack with not a with two Domino. pack with Domino. Okay, so Domino Whatever. comes somewhere else. <laughs> Either way, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to get me a Domino. Get me a cable. Get me a well, Negasonic Teenage Warhead does come with Deadpool. Yeah, so I, I may need a couple of those sets <laughs> because. But I, you could you could get creative with that Negasonic body too. Yeah, um, and and 
maybe do some head swaps or something for other make some different ex, you know or, or school type customs yeah. for the comic book yeah shelf or something yeah. it was getting to the point where it's like oh you'll have your it's hot r-rated toy and, and the, that'll the, be what you have. yeah i have the hot toys yeah because i figured i'd never it's hard to say that <laughs> it's never Deadpool. say never with action figures right. but it seemed like it was way far out yeah. so when i saw that i thought oh Yo, there it is. And, and now, like they said, now is the time to do it. Get get them in the hands of, of people who have um, definitely been wanting them. Uh, they all look great. But it makes me want well, X2. A whole team in the black leather. Yeah. Standing on the shelf. And this may be opening the door. If the cells on this justify it, yeah. they're going to make yeah. more, you know? Well, and, and that's the thing, too. I mean, Hasbro has... You know the 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 retail base or or the w- different executions that they can do uh, via what they call fan channel oh, fan or, channel, or yeah. pulse exclusive type of things or retailer exclusive types of things that if if this isn't if these versions of the characters aren't something that the licensor wants to have all over the place because they're going to have their new takes on stuff there's still I think. A variety of places where these can continue even after the fact to be able to have these versions out there too to a buying audience that would support it. We yeah. went some years without some X Men. <laughs> <laughs> Robo gonna get his. That's right. I got to get my X Men. <laughs> and even Dwight. That was the first thing he talked about. Really. Yeah. You like slipped in some Fox X Men. Get uh-huh. in there. Get it while we can. So number two, Marvel Legends, but more specifically Marvel Legends. Fox, X Men, Deadpool um, corner. Give me. So that and brings us one. to number one. Expected. <laughs> uh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. this one was a little bit more expected. But I, at the same time, not to the heights that we thought when we first walked in that booth. So going into Toy Fair, I will admit this is what I was looking forward to seeing the most. But even what I was expecting to see prior did not live up to what we actually did see. And that is really just NECA's overall foray and execution and where they're headed with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles license. They just kind of, oh, you like turtles? Yeah, (laughs) you better like turtles because they got a lot of turtles. They've got turtles across various iterations um, with cartoon, with movie, with video game, and everything got at least a taste. Um, I, I think this show... Movie and cartoon were really the, the the focus and the runaway. But even with the video game stuff, the new wave is shipping now uh, officially. But they still gave us a tease of two new foot soldiers, yeah. with kind of the pinkish one and then the greenish Green. one with the bow and arrow. And the pink one has has the bomb, so you know more stuff right. um, is going there. But the focus was really kind of up on the shelves a little bit higher. And I don't know what which which, which one do you want to talk about first, but movie see, or cartoon? But see, that's man. the thing. That's what gets me. They didn't. It, yeah. But they didn't focus on one. They yeah. gave everything yeah. a little bit of, you know, a little bit of flavor. And but man, if I had to pick one, it would be the movies. So yeah, even Secret of the Ooze. I despise that movie. <laughs> um, I don't like it as a movie. But there's no arguing the coolness of the designs of both Toka and Razar, and then Super Shredder. They're expanding the movie uh, distribution channels to to, to Walmart now too which doesn't make it easier for some people for some people yeah, yeah. but um you know <laughs> understandable if you don't have a walmart or you know yeah yeah but 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 still it shows that but it's Randy and the further. whole NECA team yeah. they're working you guys have got to believe you have got to understand that if they could have their product on every single shelf in every single store right. on the planet that is what they would do but they have been restricted somewhat in the past, but it looks like they're working ways to get this stuff out here a, a, a little bit more. And, you know, we've seen that with GameStop, with the Comic-Con exclusives, and now Walmart is going to kind of be a, a channel here, which which to me is that even if Walmart wouldn't have been your first pick, I would just, I'm looking at this as just another step in the journey of how they're looking to expand the distribution model for these lines. And, and adding another retailer, the largest yeah, retailer, yeah. you know, that's that that's a good step. That's foot further in the door. Yeah, and, and Casey, the, 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 the Casey Jones, and Raphael uh, Tupac I mean they had Q2 on the placard yeah. right there I mean guys 
Q1's over in a month. So, <laughs> I mean, we're thinking about maybe the next four months. Within the next four months, we're going to be seeing movie Casey Jones. Holy I was crap. I was so excited about Casey Jones that I didn't even realize Raph in the trench coat yeah. was doing the Pointing at the side. Uh, <laughs> it took a day to come back and go, oh. That's, that's, that's what we to... talked about at the beginning, all the stuff that you would miss by being there at uh, the actual uh, show, right? And, and especially in that display with all the cartoon stuff, yeah. all the little tidbits and yeah, you, things and <laughs> like, I, I I haven't watched the cartoon in a long time so I miss a lot of that so but going back Trevor at NECA who is really handling I think a lot of the the art directing and and, and the a lot of the sculpting um, for the line you would be hard pressed to find a more knowledgeable Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan anywhere let alone the guy who is like bringing all of this to you I mean that to me is so exciting because I consider myself to be pretty good with Ninja Turtles, but even some of the stuff I had to be like, hey, man, what, what, what's <laughs> what going on with, with that? this one over here? And, and some of the stuff was created. Like, he, he worked with somebody to do these these great little Ace Duck movie posters, um, you know, within there. But, I mean, not even talking about the figures, some of, like, the little accessories yeah. and stuff, like the Baby Shredder, the Fly Shredder, the, the, the Hamster Michelangelo, the Doku plant up in the corner. The I, soap I, on a rope. Uh, yeah. Some, some, for, when he's talking about that stuff, I'm just like, I do not remember. It's like Krang's android this. body was revealed in its painted glory, and he's over here talking about, you know, for accessories, you remember when you, you see him taking a shower sometimes, and he's got a towel and a soap on a rope, and I'm like, that's going deep, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, hey, more the merrier when it comes to accessories and little throw Well, the Triceratons, and, yeah. you know, I, I mean, that was very, very unexpected. I was thrilled to see, you know, Trag and Granitor finally getting their, um, you know, wave announcement because we've been seeing them for a long time. But then throw the Triceratons um, yeah. in there, too. It's like, whoa, th this is going to, this is getting crazy. And... Uh, and I think, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's why we. I don't have the size. I have the to make new space, probably. So because I think it was the last Fush Five that we talked about cartoon sp Splinter. Yep, and, and here there it is. There it is. Right off the screen, from, from your brain to to plastic. We talked about this a little bit with, with Super Baxter. Seven, yeah. but we can talk about this too with NECA because NECA is doing the same thing. Is that the relative scale within this line is really starting to be illustrated with the fact that Splinter and Baxter are little guys, which mm -hmm. they absolutely should be. But then when you put them next to Krang's android body or Trag or the Triceratons, I mean... The, the cartoon Metalhead? Yeah. And, I didn't know that was going to be that big. And, and, and it just gives you, you know, this cool variance within one cohesive collection that is correct. And it's just, it, it's pretty damned amazing. And, you know, when you've got somebody, when you've got two guys like Trevor and Randy who are handling a line uh, like yeah. this that are so passionate about it, but also so knowledgeable. I mean, where yeah. this is going to take us, it, th this line is going to be extremely satisfying but somehow it's still going to be unpredictable in terms of what they're going to put in and where just because they're going everywhere <laughs> and, it, and that goes along with engineering too because going back to toka and razar holy sh articulated fingers ball, with ball jointed. joints ball so jointed. you go side to side you could go forward yeah. and back which but, is impressive but <laughs> but looking at it in the case looking at it in pictures you would never guess that the eyebrows on Toka, at least. I'm not, I, I didn't get 100% confirmation on Razar, but Toka's eyelids, yeah. brows, whatever you want to call it, I mean, they move up and down, and, and the range of emotion yeah. that you can get out of that is was... crazy. That one, they're, they're one shape, but they move enough to actually look like him in different expressions throughout the right. movie so perfectly. I, when you showed me that in I a picture, I was like, oh, it comes with different heads? Nope. Cool. <laughs> but no, nope, it's that. And I think they first introduced that with Crash Bandicoot, maybe? Yeah. Had moving eyebrows? Honestly, the way that Toka and Razar look, they could have just like put those out there and maybe cut in some basic articulation like NECA used to do. Yeah. And they still would be like these, oh my God, unbelievable things. But to be as functionally articulate, maybe even more so than the turtles themselves, <laughs> yeah. um, and, and then have these details, oh, it's crazy. They honestly said this. Well, you guys like what you see? Yeah. And they're like, it's a lot. Lots of cool stuff. Cool. Great, guys. 
Um, this is really just a teaser of what you're going to see at Comic Con. <laughs> and I don't know if they're talking, you know, volume or whatever, but good lord. Yeah. Who knows what we're going to see at Comic Con? I, I think I've got a pretty good guess that we're going to see Muck Man at, at Comic Con if we don't see him before that because, you know, we, 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 we spotted Joe Eyeball hiding back there in the, the trash, trash can, can behind um, Leatherhead. But uh, other than that, I mean. <sighs> The potential for what Series 5 is going to be is going to be nuts. I mean, it being NECA, you could have th- we could throw in Defenders of the Earth and everything in there. But God, freaking Jaws, freaking Back yeah. to the Future. Yeah. I mean, more Gremlins Prop stuff. Prop replicas. Like, uh, and, 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 and the Alien, you yeah. know, for uh, anniversary stuff. It's like, yeah, the, the DC prop replicas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I, I mean, we could, we, we could have, we could have yeah. done a top five simply for NECA this year because it was delivering on what they said they were going to do and then pulling stuff that you would have never expected yeah. to see. Yeah, so... Uh, Again, in there too. Onward and upward, all these yeah. companies. Yeah, innovations, adding new. It's it's crazy. Different Toy fair, different was, properties. Yeah, it's it's cool. It almost feels like we didn't have enough as much time as usual though to bounce back and forth to all these booths and stuff. It, it seems yeah. like there was just so much. Coming and generally, at us we're from able to go check out the booths of stuff that we don't focus on. Like yeah. On, on the upper floor we, 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 we usually trick get or to treat. that yeah yeah so we awesome. usually get to do that on day two but this time it was like we got this, that we had to do that on monday yeah it was the end of the day <laughs> yeah monday and at that point you're kind of dragging yeah it's like oh man yeah yeah, yeah yeah but we saw other things and but it always comes back to i mean there was just so much yeah so much yeah <laughs> I'm already looking to cut back a little bit, but they ain't having it. Yeah. They're just, hey, yeah, we want all the monies. Responsibility is your problem, not ours. I, <laughs> you know, when it comes down to it, it really is. We, I try to blame companies. Yeah. Quit putting now so much cool shit. But I well, don't, nobody's forcing me to buy it. Well, and, and when you see offerings like this that are so robust, it, it gives you a chance to step back and be like, you know... How do I want to make my collection cleaner? Exactly what I right. want because I for a while there I was like, oh, if I like this, cool, give it to yeah. me. But but now I'm kind of like, you know, I want to make things more about what I am really focused on. But that said, I mean, I'm not going to be because, able to make any decisions about NECA. That's uh, because, turtles. That's everything. <laughs> because on the way back from the airport yesterday, I threw out the question of if you could could just collect. <laughs> you one are a mean person, and I don't want to talk to you line. anymore. <laughs> And it is difficult. It's, I mean, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Um, but I still think Turtles was the... <laughs> and, and he only says Turtles because my, I would pick, pick Star Wars. And then and we could, then you we know, could play. vicariously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. anyway, that was Foosh 5 top toys at Toy Fair. At Toy Fair plus honorable mention because this is a special edition so we yeah. went probably went a little longer than usual um we added a category so when we get back to our next one it'll fit you know the regular format but i mean it's toy fair you, you gotta indulge when, uh-huh. when the, you know, we'll, opportunity we'll do the same there, thing so. when it's san diego yeah good list though man i mean fight me <laughs> that's <Yeah>. what i say <laughs> bring it on yeah give me all your gi joe hey <laughs> but anyway yeah we will catch you both on megalopolis and the foosh laters